Hey guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, this is take three of my week 50 update weigh-in and review of the keto diet. This is Hubby Brian. Hey everybody. He is sitting in with me. This is his day 17 on keto and you are feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. That's always awesome. What's your favorite part of keto? Being with you. Other than being with me. Uh, losing the weight. Awesome. That's good. Fitting in old clothes. <laughs> 17 days, already losing weight and fitting in old clothes. Just, it's it's kind of like a magic pill. It's kind of like that documentary on Netflix. <laughs> so anyway, keto really has been a magic pill for me. I mean, I'm on week 50. It's good food. I can eat until I'm full. Do you want to get hungry? I made it to week 50 and never thought I could do that. And I've lost a ton of weight doing it. So I'm going to tell you all about my weight loss in a minute. Then I'm going to get up and show you my body. You want to get up and show them yours? Not really, no. No? You going to do a little booty wiggle? No, I can't dance. <laughs> I can't dance either. Yeah, can't dance. <laughs> okay, but they, they, they haven't seen me dance. They've seen me attempt to belly dance, but that's it. Um, which was terrible. <laughs> I'll learn one of these days, dag on it. Miss Nona's supposed to be uploading me a video so I can see her dead. That'd be awesome. So, um, I've had a pretty good keto week, minus the fact that I did get kicked trying to be a dumbass and thought I could have a bite of Oreo whipped cream. Are you back in yet? Yes, I am. I did my ketones today. I'm 0 0.4. Very low, but I'm back in. And it definitely showed up on the scale. Because, guys and dolls, if you'll remember, I only have how many days left? 12 days left to my one year keto anniversary. How many pounds did I have left to lose? Well, hold on, I'll get to that. I'm going to show you all my handy dandy graph first. <laughs> As you can see, they, there's a line downward there. Y'all see that line? Sorry, but I don't try, ain't trying to cover your face here. But <laughs> So, Monday, I, last week, I was 216.8. 216.8. Yeah, 216.6. Then I dropped down to 215.8. For two days, it was 214.8. I'm not quite sure what I was on this third day because my son had uh, his car broke down. We had to go get him first thing in the morning. I didn't get on the scale until really late in the afternoon. The next day, though, after knowing that I was kicked, and I was kicked right in this area here, and I didn't come back in until today, my weight shot up to 215.8. But today, guys, today, da da da, 213.6. Holy crap, right? I love doing these graphs because it can show me how my weight fluctuates every day. And it, not, you, it don't always go down. A lot of times these graphs kind of go up and then drop and then go up and stay up. So it, it's interesting to weigh yourself every day. And uh, sometimes you miss out on the best days if you don't weigh. Because, I mean, what if I had been 213 in the middle of the week and 215 today? I would have just missed that 213. So, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and show you all my weigh in. <laughs> so, keto diet. No, it's not my diary today. Oh, I forgot. I need to do a diary. Let's make this my diary too, okay guys? And we'll just tell you what I ate yesterday. Although at the moment, I don't have no idea. Do you? Uh, I can pull it up real fast. Yeah. No worries. Oh shit. Oh, that's today. I haven't put that in there today. We had buffalo wings. Chicken wings. Yep. We you had made a, ham. You had ham and cheese sandwiches you yeah. made for us yesterday. Which was just ham, cheese, mayonnaise. Lettuce and ham. So the ham was the brand. That's all we had. We had a couple little pickles. Yeah, I'm, but I don't think we really had any little big dinners or not. No, we, after you went to bed last night, I had a couple better with cheddar sausages. Oh, yeah. No, I was still up. Were you still up? Yeah. Okay. So I did have those. I did have a few pork rinds and salsa, too. But all in all, not too bad. Yesterday, my calories were 1375. Carbohydrates, 14 grams. Fat grams 106, protein 81. So not too bad. My blood pressure, I did check it this morning, it was 116 over 78. Resting heartbeat 72, because I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> and I only got, let's see, initially I only got five hours of sleep, because I had a hella dream. I'm going to tell them about that dream. Because it's keto at its finest, a keto dream, mixed with a scream dream. Y'all, most of y'all know I was binge watching Scream for a little while there. 
I told you about this dream. Oh, yeah, you told me about it. So, okay. I dreamed that I was working for my old boss in a convenience store that was located inside of a mall. I think it was a mall because I had to walk through other stores to get to it. Y'all know how dreams are. They're just dumb. Well, anyway, in this convenience store was also a bakery. And as we were closing, my coworkers and I tried to give all the pastries and donuts to some drag queens. I don't know why they were drag Oh, yes, I do. I kind of sort of watched a little bit of Magic Mike last night. Strippers, drag queens. It kind of goes hand in hand for me because the only strip club I've ever been into was a gay one. It was fun, though. It was fun. I just wasn't giving their dollars up because I knew they was gay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Is that sad? So don't even answer that. No. <laughs> so anyway, um, I tried to give all the pastries and donuts to the drag queens, and they said, "Sweetie, we don't eat that shit." And they walked out the door, and I was like, "Well, damn." So <laughs> as we were disposing of them and locking up, somehow we had to come back around the front and come back inside. And then the girl ducked and screamed that I was with, and, and my dog came running past her, I don't know why, and I thought maybe she was ducking and screaming from him. And, you know, Jake came beside me, and I was petting him, and was like, what the hell's your problem? She jumps in this little elevator lift, little metal doodad ones, little, like, cages, and she goes down, and she's, like, scared to death of me or something. And then suddenly she starts screaming for help, so I start pulling up this little rope to try to help her, and I realize I'm holding... A severed hand and a Freddy Krueger claw. <laughs> and my only thought was, damn, am I the killer? <laughs> and I woke up. And I was so happy to be awake because I was confused as all hell. But y'all know I had to throw the keto dream in there because them pastries, I wasn't taking that shit home. And them drag queens, they weren't having it neither. So that's definitely keto dream in there, partially. Um, but yeah, I had to tell that story. So, oh, y'all know I always put this board down. I start to tell y'all what my, my weight was, and I put it down, and y'all had to listen to a story and some long, drug-out crap. Anyway, guys and dolls, week 50, keto weigh-in. I started my journey at 311.8. 311.8. Last week, I was 216.8. This week, 213.6. That is 3.2 pounds down this week. 98.2 pounds down overall. That means I've got 1.8 pounds to go before I am 100 pounds down and I've got 12 days to do it in. Can I do it? Even though I'm stupid and I tend to kick myself and do dumb things? Hard to say for sure. I'm almost 100 pounds down there, guys. I cannot believe it. I never would have imagined last year at this time that I would be sitting right here in a year, even with my husband. I wouldn't imagine that either. Healthier, not feeling like I was going to die, not scared to walk to the mailbox for fear of a heart attack, and 100 pounds down. Going from a t size 26 or 28 jean into a pair of 16s that are falling off of my ass. <laughs> I can assure y'all that she will hit that goal. Because if she don't, every day I'm going to be there. Remember that 100 pounds you lost in a year? Oh, never mind. You didn't hit it. Oh, I will cut him. Well, we better hit that goal. Just so y'all know, there's one person wearing the pants in the family. Are you going to get up and show you who's wearing the pants? Fine, but I'm the only one with the gun. <laughs> when? <laughs> I only tried to shoot him a little bit. Good God. <laughs> He's smiling. Y'all see this touch. <laughs> he ain't scared of me much. Okay, he might be. Just a little bit. Um, I'm just a little violent. It's okay. Only doing a red moon. Only doing the red moon. Is it red? Nope. Then nothing to worry about. Guys, I forgot. Oh, did I tell y'all my ketones are 0 0.4? I think yes, I did. Yes, I told you. I did okay. twice. Now three times. Boy, <laughs> better get beat. Pull out the switchblade. Okay, so anyway. Damn, I'm gonna get shot and stabbed. <laughs> I'm going back to work. Them people are nicer. I used to work with this little Guatemalan fella, and guys, I hope this is not um, considered racist. He was from Guatemala, but he had issues with Hispanic people or Mexicans. Not Hispanics, I guess he was Hispanic. But anyway, he had issues with Mexicans. He said they were mean and they would cut you. 
One day I reached out of my pocketbook to grab something and I got stabbed. It, it, my fingers started bleeding. I was cussing and, you know, sucking butt off. And he goes, you got a Mexican living in your pocketbook. I was like, what? He said, There's a Mexican living in your pocketbook. So now every time somebody threatens me or picks on me, I say that I'm going to pull the little Mexican out of my pocketbook and he will cut you. So I'm not racist. <laughs> but I had to share it. Should I have shared that? Probably not. I didn't know it. You never told me that. Did I never tell you? No. Oh, I've been threatening a little brown with a little Mexican in my pocketbook forever. <laughs> but anyway, because he was there when Frankie said it. But um, it was cute. It was just a cute day. And uh, in fact, there's a funny thing. He's the only one I ever heard threaten to cut somebody in public. Anyway. Uh, is there anything else? No. Yes, there, there's something else. One more thing. One more thing. Right here. Don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com. Keto Diamond on YouTube, but you already know that because here we are. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Come on. How often do you hit, get close to 100 pounds in almost a year? Almost, almost. <laughs> Don't forget to go uh, join the Keto Community Bulletin Board Facebook group so that you can get uh, all kinds of updates, so you can give me all kinds of updates. And so when I go live this Thursday night at 7 p.m., you can hear all the cool stuff that's happening, and you can tell me about cool stuff to do on my live events. <laughs> Good catch, honey. Um, oh, and there's a giveaway coming up, guys. There's there's a giveaway coming up. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be yet, but there's definitely a giveaway coming up. So here in about a week or so, I'm going to do a double giveaway. So if you have a YouTube channel and you send people to my YouTube channel, all those people have to do is post below. I was sent by Keto Delicious Life or whoever and they're a new sub. All they have to do is say, I subscribed, sent by, and both the person they were sent by and them will get a free keto product sent by me with his money. I do not approve of this message. <laughs> He does. Hi, baby. Hi. How's it feel to be how many months pregnant? Uh. <laughs> how many months are you pregnant? A little over four. A little over four. About we'll get to find weeks. out what the gender is on August 18th. And I'm going to do a video of it. Why are you sniffing me? I'm not. I'm following you. <laughs> Much love to you guys and dolls. <laughs> he approves of this message even if he don't like it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'll see you later.